Hey everyone, so today I decided to get a little technical and test the input lag difference between the popular shmup meme and the newly released run ahead feature on Retroarch. Now before I begin the video I guess I'll quickly summarize what setup I used and how I went about testing the input lag. So my setup was I'm using my PC that's pretty beefy so it has no problem you know running run ahead and all the features associated with that. I'm using a arcade stick for my input method and then a CRT monitor for my display so there's no display lag because I'm using a CRT. Also I wired up a light to the bomb button of my arcade stick so that whenever I hit bomb the light will instantly turn on. In fact the light will turn on before the signal even hits my controller within my arcade stick so that will exactly tell me when the button was activated. And I recorded the footage at 60 frames per second so that you know that matches up with the correct frame rate. So with all that said let's begin. I'm beginning by testing shmup meme. So here we go. Now what you notice is that you see in the left corner it says frame zero. That's because the frame the light turns on is frame zero as in the button has been activated. Okay frame one. And what we're looking for actually is the bomb indicator in the left corner to disappear. And frame one no. Frame two there we go. So it took two frames this is on shmup meme from me hitting the button for it to be displayed on the screen. So two frames for that bomb. Again, another test and shmup meme. Frame zero, the light is just barely on, you can see that. And then we have frame one, and now you see the light is kind of fully on, and again, no bomb. Look how close that bullet is to me. And then frame two, the bomb activates just in time, and you see the bomb indicator in the left corner has gone. So I did this test more than once. I did it like eight or nine times. I just showed you those two examples. Each time for two frames. So now here we go to Retro Arch with Run Ahead. I'm using Final Burn Alpha Core with two frames, second instance on. So here we are frame zero. And now frame one and look, the bomb has activated. One frame from the light turning on, the bomb activates on screen. Another one, the light's on, frame zero. And again, one frame, and the bomb activate. The light is on. Another one, I'm just repeating this to show how consistent it is. It was probably 12 or you know 13 instances where every time frame zero to frame one bomb activates. I think this next one's interesting. Nope, not this one, but the next one again. Frame zero. Frame advance. Next frame, bomb activates. I believe this last one's pretty interesting to look at. So you see frame zero and you see how the light is pretty, is dim. The light is just barely turning on, you can see. And then when the light reaches its normal power, already the bomb has activated. So when talking about this with my Discord, Jamers mentioned I should test Shmup Mame 2.2 version as that is you know, believed to be faster than shmup main 4.2, which is kind of the default one. So here we go, frame zero, light is activated. Frame one, the bomb has still not ignited, you can see in the bomb indicator. Frame two, the bomb has activated, you can see. I did this a number of times, just like with sh the first shmup meme. So I'm going to show you some more examples. Frame zero, you see the light is barely on, just like in that 
other test I was talking about. Next frame, the light is fully on, but the bomb has not activated yet. You can see. Frame two, the bomb activates. The reason why I chose bomb is I believe there's no frame data for Dota and Pachi I could find, but I believe the bombs are supposed to be instant. They're meant to be instant, so they're and the indicator for when they activate is extremely obvious. So I think they're a good way to test this kind of thing. So frame one, still no activation. Here's frame two, the bomb activates. This was consistent. Every single instance, it took two frames for the bomb to activate every time. This is just another example, but it's gonna be the same. Again, this I like this one because it shows the light is just barely coming on. The light is on, but the bomb has not activated yet. It takes two frames for that to occur, and here's the bomb. So in conclusion, when we come to the conclusion, it's actually a very solid conclusion. Shmup main both versions 4.2 and 2.2 have two frames of lag. Retroarch run ahead has one frame of lag. And what's interesting is that Shmup main having two frames of lag, I believe matches PCB speeds. Retroarch with the run ahead is actually one frame faster than a PCB. Now, I've heard of people using frame advance and stuff in the emulators themselves, but I don't think those results are as reliable as a real-time test like this one because they don't account for things like your input lag from your controller or the polling lag of your USB ports and also just the processor lag of your computer, like your computer's OS and all that. I really would be shocked if there came a day where there was literally zero frames of lag, as in the second, or the frame that light turns on is the same frame the bomb activates. It might be possible, but as of currently, I don't think so. So, maybe something will be found in the future, but I doubt it. Anyway, so thanks for watching. I think this is pretty awesome if you're you know interested in cutting down on your lag. I think this is pretty definitively demonstrating that the run ahead feature is more adva advantageous than shmup mame. Now I'm not saying shmup mame is completely obsolete because there's still a lot of great uses for it and it's not as taxing on your computer definitely. But if you want the purest, most ideal scenario of the least lag possible, the run ahead is the way to go. Thanks for watching.